So today we're going to talk about 10 pieces of kit that I got this year that I love. All right, before we get into this video, um, I want to tell you about the 50,000-ish subscriber giveaway. Uh, go to dylancontest.com. You can enter to win the guitar there. Um, we have streamlined and taken a lot of the bugs out of the giveaways. I think it's gonna be a lot tighter this time. I've been working very hard on that and putting and investing some time and money into making sure that that happens. For those of you that are international viewers, uh, I have another thing coming. It, there might be a link in the description of this video for a contest for only international viewers that are outside of the United States. Over 50% of our viewers are not from the United States, so I wanted to make sure that I did not forget about you. If it is not down there in the link to this video with the links to all the other things that we're talking about today, it will be very, very soon. I am working on it uh, because I do appreciate all of my international viewers and I don't wanna forget about you. Um, if you enter to win this contest, one of the most powerful things you can do is actually use the little share viral thing. Share it with your friends, get them to enter. It gives you more entries. You can enter multiple times, like up to nine or 11 times or something. So go and check that link. You'll see it. It's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. All right, so some of this stuff, um, you know, I might not have anymore because as a result of the, or as of the nature of the channel and um, how we, get things and test them and sell them, give it away, that sort of stuff. I might not have everything, but that doesn't mean I don't, I don't like it, or that doesn't mean I got rid of it because I didn't like it. So uh, let's go through the list. All right, and we're probably gonna do a what's in my bag, so you might see some of this stuff come up a couple of times uh, over the next couple of weeks. But my very first thing, uh, the DJI Osmo Action Camera, you'll see me use it in this for this channel a lot of times for an overhead shot. You'll see me use it for um, all kinds of vloggy kind of stuff because it's super small and I can get away with sneaking it into places. So that is probably uh, one of my favorite pieces of kit for the entire gear, <laughs> for the entire year. <laughs> if you are going to do some, you know, video production for Instagram or YouTube or something, uh, as a guitar player, as a musician, as a creator in general, I definitely recommend getting one uh, over the GoPro especially. I'm not a GoPro fan. I've said it many times. Fantastic camera. Uh, these are in no particular order. So let's talk about the Positive Grid Spark. Now I had this thing, I ordered it in January. It took forever to come in. I think I got it in August. I had it from August until just a few weeks ago. This amp is fantastic. Uh, I know that it gets a lot of digs from a lot of snobs on the internet, but I'll tell you, for most of us who just want to practice amp in our living room, in our bedroom, somewhere close and handy, um, that gives us a lot of sound and only costs, it's like under 300 bucks or something. Um, I think everybody should have one. I really do. I, I think everybody should have one of those things. Now, of course, I sold it because I don't have room to carry everything around, but it is a fantastic, fantastic little amp, and I think you should have one. Uh, next on our list is my D DJI Mavic Air 2 drone. Now, I love drones. Um, I like what I do for them actually on my other channel, on Music and Mascara channel. Uh, I don't use it so much on the Dylan Talks Tone channel, but we have used it before. You have seen it and you'll probably see it more uh, because we're gonna try to put some more production value into some of this stuff. And it's great for establishing shots. It's great for showing you where we're at, that kind of thing. So I really dig that thing. Um, by the way, there's gonna be links to all of this stuff in the description below. This is my favorite gear of 2020. Some of it has direct things to do about guitar stuff. Some of it doesn't, but for me and my overall happiness, it has everything to do with all of it. So that's why I'm bringing it all up. Uh, the next thing would be, this is very much gear related and very recent, the Boss Next Tone. You know, the Boss Next Tone stage, I only had it for a week. Um, the reason I got rid of it is because I couldn't play it like it wanted to be played. That amp is so good and it is made to be played like a real amp. It is made to just be cranked. I live in a motorhome, man. I can't really do that. So it does not apply for me. Um, and we had some other problems with it that you probably won't have. I personally had, we're gonna talk about that specifically in a video. The bottom line is everybody, this is another one. 
Um, if you're a professional musician gigging, if you're a uh, beginner guitar player who wants to just level up from you know your Line 6 or your Mustang amp or whatever, the next level up without spending a thousand bucks, uh, the Next Tone stage gets you there. Um, if you've not seen the video, make sure you check it out. Uh, we'll put a link to the video where we really broke down the tone of this thing, and I think you're going to dig it. This isn't totally related, but again, it has something to do with my actual happiness. Um, I got a light bar on the front of the Jeep, some new fogs, um, actually uh, a client and a very faithful viewer for many years hit my Amazon wish list and bought me a set of hood latches. We got a couple other things for the Jeep too, uh, just to spiff it up and make it cool. Sorry about the wind. That's why I'm wearing a jacket and trying to, you know, place the collar properly. It's not because I'm cool or want to be funzy or anything. It's because it's blocking the wind. That's, or attempting to. Okay, let's talk about our folding guitar stand. So guitar stands are a thing. You know I really like the really fancy ones. You know I really, really, really like the zither guitar uh, stand but again size and convenience and carrying it around I got this new one from Hercules I'll put a link to it in the description it was only like 20 bucks super sturdy um, I trust my favorite guitar to it already I've used it many times for shooting some videos that you're about to see here in the next couple of weeks um, it works awesome and it folds up and an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar work on it it's absolutely killer I think you're gonna dig it the next thing has nothing to do with Dylan Tuck's tone whatsoever. However, my brother really got me in to this RC crawling thing. And so I bought an ass, uh, an ass, an Axial SCX-10 III, say that a bunch of times fast, 10th um, scale JL Rubicon. I painted it, I built it from a kit, so it was a bunch of pieces. I built it from a kit. I kind of painted it up to look like my real Jeep. The, R, the RC nerds call that the one-to-one, -one, like their real car. That's, kind of dumb but anyways I love it super fun just a little kind of a it's a hobby outside of the hobby you know the music stuff I love it and I, I'm playing every day now we'll get to the reasons why in a minute in the top 10 list so I'm playing every day now I'm like really inspired to play but when you don't want to do anything to do with anything with work the RC thing has been kind of a fun release so I'm, I've been really enjoying enjoying that a lot it's actually been kind of cool the other the next thing is going to be uh, these ceremonic lavalier mics right here this that i'm using right here now um you can't see it because it's clipped on my belt down here and it's clipped onto the camera but this is to me the latest and coolest thing for content creators because i'm wireless to the camera the camera is on a gimbal right now um, it's easy to balance on a gimbal there's a little cable that you can use for a TRRS cable. We're going to do a full video on this and show you how I'm using it in my rig and how we're going to use it for live videos and with the Helix and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm really stoked to have this thing. But if you're just trying to make better videos with your iPhone or with a smartphone, it comes with the stuff to do that. You can split the channels out. We're going to get to in-depth. I'm not going to get all nerdy about it right now. But I really, really, really love this thing. I had the older version of it, um, which actually is for sale. If you want it, let me know. Hit me in the comments. Probably like 125 bucks or something. I'll ship it just about anywhere. Really, really cool thing. You can have two people on a wireless at the same time going into the camera and not have to worry about any kind of, you know messing around it's i love it it's clip it on and go super cool um and it's making my videos better it's really really awesome this is new to the very very much changing repertoire of stuff that i have around here now i got rid of my kemper i had to sell my kemper and we're going to get to that in a minute and why but i bought a helix hx stomp to replace the Boss Next Tone. Here's why. Size, number one, because it's like this big. You're gonna see a bunch of videos coming out about that. It's like a stripped down version of the Kemper that I had, and it does what I needed to do for making videos and testing pickups, and um, presets are really easy to make. I think you're gonna see some Dylan Talks Tone presets having to do with um, our pickups and what I think our pickup should sound like and kind of give you an idea there. So we're gonna mess around with some of that stuff maybe in the future. I really like it, it's fun. It's a fun, it's a fun little piece and I'm, I'm really digging it. And it was only like $5.99 or whatever instead of $1,700 for a Kemper. Is it a Kemper? No, definitely not. But uh, it serves a purpose and I really, really do dig it. All right, finale. 
my favorite piece of gear for 2020. Um, I had to sell my Kemper. I had to sell a camera. I had to sell my other acoustic guitar. I sold a bunch of stuff and I went all in on what you probably are guessing is my favorite thing that I added to the stuff this, this year. Because as you may or may not be aware, all of this stuff I do have to buy. We don't have sponsorships for the, the channel yet or anything like that. So, you know, saving up and selling and swapping around and all that kind of stuff to keep us going. So that's what we do. So I got myself, and this is for me personally, this isn't for the, the channel per se, I want a good acoustic guitar. What a lot of people don't realize about me, uh, Dylan Talks Tone Guy, who talks about pickups and electronics all the time, is that if you had to give me one guitar to play on a desert island for the rest of my life and never be able to own anything ever again, it would be an acoustic guitar. I would not have an electric guitar. I, that, that's what makes me happy. Um, a very good acoustic guitar. I want a very good acoustic guitar. I had a Breedlove. Um, Premier Rosewood Dreadnought that was unbelievable and because I'm me and I wanted to upset the apple cart a little bit and because I wanted to kind of see for myself and then prove to the world that all this crap is just a bunch of arguing in groups on Facebook and YouTube and in the comments I sold everything and bought a carbon fiber acoustic guitar by McPherson. I bought a McPherson Sable acoustic guitar and I will tell you something, it is the best guitar I've ever played in my entire life. It is unbelievable. Um, you can argue about it all you want, but if you've never played one, you cannot speak from a place of education. This thing is amazing. It is amazing. It plays great. No, you don't need a truss rod if the guitar is engineered properly. There's a lot of people in the comments of my videos lately being like, I wouldn't have one because, oh, that's a deal breaker because blah, 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 it doesn't have a truss rod. doesn't need one. You know, none of their wood guitars have truss rods and they're 10 grand and they're perfect. Like literally perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. They're amazing. I can't even tell you how good this thing is. Super fun. Obviously, there probably won't be a link to that in the description because I don't think you can buy that on Amazon or any of these other places that I can give you links from, but make sure you go to mcphersonguitars.com and check it out. If there is a way to share a link, I'll, sh I'll show it to you. But I'm really grateful for everybody that watches these videos all the time. Thanks so much. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we're giving away a Les Paul. Um, you can check it out. You go to the dylancontest.com link and you'll be able to, to, to do that. Um, the limited edition Dylan Talkstone t-shirt is going to be up on the website, I think, until the end of December. And then we're going to swap it out with a new design, which is really, really cool. So uh, make sure you check out the limited edition t-shirt. Um, I did switch the design a little bit. I moved it up a little bit. So everybody that orders a, a shirt, this is like the prototype. So you didn't get this one. You got one with it kind of in the right spot. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to say, hey, share you some of my favorite stuff that really, I'm really excited about it. And uh, it's pretty cool. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure you check us out on Thursday on our live video. And uh, we'll see you soon.